Hi, Clay from Popel's Backyard Farm, and today is the day we take the eggs out of the turner. Day 15 for our jumbo Petornic quail. And as you can see, there's I've already done the one incubator, and this is the last incubator. I've already filled the trays with the water underneath. I've emptied this this turner and now I'm emptying this last one so why do we take them out of the trays because they can't hatch in the trays right it's more difficult for them some people do it but you're going to get a better hatch rate if the chick can move around this gives the chick a chance to turn in the egg and get settled no more turning back because you only turn the eggs because you don't want the yolk to stick to the side of the shell. If it does, you're not going to get a good hatch. Usually, usually destroys the egg. But they're rolling around pretty good. And I did candle this white colored one and it's dark inside. So hopefully we'll have a better hatch this time. find out in about two days two days should be should be hatching by Saturday or Sunday all I have to say is one chicken it's pretty darn loud we'll um, show you give you a quick view of him he's a chicken he's a quail one guy is pretty darn loud you want to say something why would you want to say Oh, I don't know. He might want to say something. He's not even old enough to crow yet. This give is him, our science room, by the way. Give him about a week. <laughs> give him about a week, and he'll be crowing. This is our science room. <laughs> All right, that's it for that. Turner. Unplug the turners. Fill them both with water. And. Whoa. As you can see, it's quite, some of them are quite shiny. Why are they shiny? Well, it's just the Way God made shell them. on the egg. But I did uh, Man, that... candle some of them. This one here is kind of clear, so I don't think this one's going to hatch. Okay. Did we, were we going to do the water candling thing? No, we're going to just let them do their thing. If they hatch, they hatch. If they don't, they don't. October is a not a good month for fertility on quail. So, okay, now we'll just, like they say in Popeil, set it and forget it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Ruthie and Clay Popel at the Popel Backyard Farm. And, and if something hatches, we'll give you a... A video on that. God bless. God bless you.